Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Innal hamdalillahi nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nastaghfiruh wa na'udzu billahi min shururi anfusina was sayyiati a'malina may yahdihillahu fala mudilla la wa may yudlilhu fala hadiya la ashhadu an la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la wa ashhadu anna muhammadan abduhu wa rasuluhu assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh All praise due to Allah Almighty, the creator of all things, the sender of all prophets, and the revealer of all truth. May the blessing and the mercy be upon all of us, especially those who are here tonight, uh, to celebrate the iftar organized by Maxis. Before I continue and share a bit of uh, a short reminder for all fellow Muslim brothers and sisters who are preparing for the iftar here. My respected uh, CEO, Gokhan Ogut, Chairman Tan Sri uh, Raja Arshad, PPZ CEO Tan uh, Tuan Haji Ahmad Shukri, and to all the family of Maxis. Not forgetting our chairperson today. Uh, now, we are all here because Allah Rabbul Alamin have ordained that we will be here. Part of Qadar Allah. We can plan, but only Allah will decide at the end who will be with us and who will not be with us. So when it happens, we accept this is Qadr Allah wa ma sha'a fa'ala. One of the important things for us to remember about the reason Allah wants us to fast in Ramadan, not only for the Muslim, but for all the believers Allah Rabbul Alamin said in the Holy Quran, Ya yuhal lazina amanu kutiba alaykum usiyam kama kutiba ala lazina min qablikum la'allakum tattakum. Allah is telling us the reason He want us to fast. Number one, He said, Oh, you believe, I have made fasting and obligation upon you. And not only upon you, like how I make it an obligation upon the, upon the earlier nation. The Ummah before us. So Allah is now connecting us back to the early nation. So that we stay connected, like Max Jesus is here, to connect people to. Yeah? But of course, we cannot connect towards uh, the people who have passed away. Uh, we only can connect now and ongoing connection until the future. Now then Allah said, to, the, the reason I want you to fast is not to make your life difficult, to make this man an unproductive man, unproductive man for Maxis, no. It should be upgraded. The product, production team should be double this man. Why? Because you don't eat, you don't drink. So you can do more. You, know? you can serve more. But sometimes we have the wrong understanding with our Ramadan, is a fasting man, so don't call me to work. Yeah, I should leave 3 o'clock, you know. I should come at 9 p.m. At 9 a.m., leave 3 p.m. But we should work harder to prove to the people that Ramadan is a man, a very productive man for the ummah. It's a man of jihad. Yeah? And also, Allah make it very clear. He said that, لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ the reason I want you to be uh, to, to observe fasting so that at the end of the day, from a Muslim to the second level, mu'min, to the third level, muqsin, and the last one, muttaqin, la'allakum tattaqun. When you have taqwa, that is where the sincerity and the integrity will come, will surface. Look at what Allah said about iman. The Prophet ﷺ remind his ummah, the great ummah. This is the only ummah that Allah named us as Khairu Ummah, the best nation. This title was not given to any other nation except to the ummah of Prophet Muhammad ﷺ. Even we are the last nation, last ummah, but we are the best. Why? Because we are the most productive ummah. We are the ummah of amal ma'ruf and nahin anil munkar. The ummah that is here to promote what is good, that benefit everybody. 
benefit you as a person, your family members, your neighbors, and also fellow mankind, whether they are Muslim or not yet Muslim. We are here for everybody. Allah Rabbul Alameen remind us, Kuntum khaira ummah ukhrijat linnas. You are the best nation raised up by Allah among mankind, not only among Muslim. So anything that we are doing that connect people is a very noble activities. Maxis is not just a company who provide all the communication, but this kind of communication is very, very important in life. And I believe that Maxis has come up with a very good packaging, yeah? how to develop the art of communication. But in the same time, we know communication can be positive, it also can be negative. But what is important, when you talk about sincerity, you talk about innamal a'malu binya. Why are we here? Why are we working with Maxis? If our intention is to because they pay us well, alhamdulillah, then you only get payment every month, khalas. You have dunya, nothing for you in akhirah. Because Allah said so. Allah said in the Quran, وَمِنَ النَّاسِ مَا يَقُولُ رَبَّنَا آتِينَا فِي الدُّنْيَا مَا لَهُ فِي الْآخِرِ مِنْ خَلَا There are people who only want benefit. They want all the reward in this life. So Allah said, I will give them their dunya. But nothing for you in your future. But while you are serving Maxis example, you also have another intention. Intention for your akhirah. Like what Allah continue with the ayah, وَمِنْهُمْ مَا يَقُلُ رَبَّنَا آتِينَا فِي الدُّنْيَا حَسَنَا وَفِي الْآقِرَةِ حَسَنَا وَقِنَا عَزَبَ النَّامِ This is a prayer that all Muslims are asking Allah every single day. Oh Allah, give us success, happiness yeah, in this life. You want to be success and happy, you should have the knowledge of this world. And part of the knowledge of the world is the knowledge in Mexis, the knowledge of communication. Is good. Now, how do you communicate? That's up to you. You can create a lot of fitna and you can create a lot of goodness. You can bring peace. You also can bring unrest if you misuse the communication tools. Now, that is why when you ask Allah for the best in this dunya and also hoping for the best for akhirah, now you will get two reward. Dunya, you get your pay every month. Alhamdulillah. I forgot to ask when you receive your salary every month. I think before Raya, you will receive your payment again, inshallah. And they, they, I think they also give you bonus. They give you bonus too. Alhamdulillah. When you are thankful, Allah increase more. <laughs> And also you will get reward from Allah in Akhirah because you are making life easier for others to communicate with each other. I always inform the younger generation, why do you want to have a smartphone when you are not smart? He said, because I want to be smart. Okay. But it's important when your parents give you a smartphone, the first thing you must show your appreciation to your parents, you must always communicate with them first. But most of the time, we don't communicate with our parents. Only when our bill comes, we show our parents. Papa. And that one, our, our, our father got to settle. Or if the father is too busy, mom will take over, no problem. But we always learn how to communicate with others. We forget to communicate with our parents. That is between we and human. How about communicating with Almighty God, Allah who created us, who gave us all this ni'mah. What is the ni'mah He gave us? The ear that can hear. It's the ni'mah given by Allah. This is not man-made. It's from Allah. There's a lot of people who have ear, but they cannot hear. He gave us an eye, alhamdulillah. We can see the number, alhamdulillah. We can know who is calling me now. Whether I want to block or not block is up to you. 
example. He gives us the mouth. We can talk. Now, if we cannot talk, there's no point to have a handphone. But still, there is a way to communicate. Yeah, through your fingers. Yeah. And that's up to you. Remember, all this is amana. So if you are sincere in whatever you do, brother and sister, I believe you can see the result by yourself. Everything you do, you are happy at the end of the day. You know, especially in Ramadan, if they call you to stay longer, you will stay on no problem to serve for the sake of Allah. And in the same time, you get extra bonus. Is that a problem? There's no problem. When we do something for the sake of God, our spirit is different. Whether our boss appreciate or not, leave it to him. As long as Allah is happy with my service, as long as I'm serving my client, that I told them, if I give you this package, I will back up with the service, I give you the best service. And that's what Islam wants you to do. Exan. Exan means a person who cares for others. You do not want to say that Maxis is so good, so good, so good. At the end of the day, the service is bad. But I was informed by Brother Daud, so far, no complaint. Because I hardly use Maxis, actually. Maybe after today, Wallahu a'lam. <laughs> I, I, I use other because people recommend me Salcom first. Anyhow, what is important? When you are sincere, in whatever you want to do, you see there's a lot of blessing. Now, sincerity always comes with integrity. You must have amana. What is amana? Is amana important? Your job is an amana. Is amana important? When you promise somebody, is an amana. Now, look at what the Prophet said. The Prophet said, number one, La tatkulu jannah hatta tu'minu. No one can enter paradise without iman. Without smartphone, without DG, cell com, you can go to paradise. No money, no husband, no wife, you can go to paradise. Then Allah gives you a better, uh, better partner over there. Over there, no headache. Over here, only Allah knows. Over there, alhamdulillah, when you enter paradise, headache, no, no migraine, uh, no stomach ache, no pain. Because in paradise, the Prophet said, there is no hospital, no clinic, no doctor. And also in paradise, the Prophet said, there is no toilet. Can you imagine? If there is no toilet here, I don't know what's going to happen to all of us. And there is paradise. But the Prophet said, no one enter paradise without iman. Now, let us focus on Iman. What is Iman? One of the signs of a believer, the Prophet said, La Iman liman la amana tala. There is no Iman people who have no amana. It's a matter of integrity. You must prove. When you have amana, brothers and sisters, what is the sign? The sign is you are consistent in giving your best services. You don't just promise your client in the beginning, later on, everybody is having problem. Communication problem, line is poor. I believe Maxis don't have this problem, alhamdulillah. Maxis go for maximum. Is that a correct? Do you agree? I said Maxis give the maximum service. Nobody respond. No? <laughs> that means you are not sure. You must be proud of your own product. Yeah, you must carry your own product and be proud of your own product. And this is also very important. Now, let us zoom into another area. If you want to be the best, it's not difficult. To have the best character, now this is the most important thing in life. You can have the best phone, you can have the best facilities, but if you don't have best attitude, then there'll be a lot of problem. Allah Rabbul Alameen, the creator who created all of us, he knows everything. 
He sees everything about the future, what is going to happen. We don't know, but Allah knows. And He informed us from 1,400 years ago and until today, all the world thinkers, after learning the biography of Prophet Muhammad Wasallam, this man is being rated as number one in the world. When you talk about integrity, about his personality. And that's why Allah said, only one man you have to look at to be the best. Through only one example, you become the best son to your parent. You become the best husband to your wife, the best father to your children, the best worker to your boss, and if you become the leader, you become the best leader for all your staff. Everything just focused to one man. Allah said, لَقَدْ كَانَ لَكُمْ فِي رَسُولِ اللَّهِ أُسْوَةٌ حَسَنًا Indeed, the best model, example for you to follow, brother and sister, whether you are aware or not, you don't have to look to the east, to the west, look at one man, Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Number one, he have this unique character, Siddiq. Sadiq Umar Siddiq. A man will not lie when he speak. What he say, everything is the truth, nothing but the truth and the whole truth. You understand this? When you go to the court, they will ask you this. Anything you want to say must be the truth, nothing but the truth and the whole truth. Whole truth, not half truth. We always have some reserve. You know? I will tell the truth, yes. Okay, half only. Look at how the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Siddiq. When he talked to the men, we are talking to the brothers here on my right. He said, Khairukum, khairukum li ahli wa na khairu li ahli. The best among men are the men who are best to their wife. If the wife is here, you must listen. Only you can confirm the man is a good man or not. Only you, not the boss. Because nobody knows your husband more than yourself. But most of the men here, until now, I think most of us don't receive any certificate from my wife. That my husband, you are the best man. We never received this kind of certificate yet. You have to work very hard. This is what the prophet said. Uh, he's so best, he's the best to the wife. And the best woman, of course, a woman who is uh, faithful to the husband. Yeah. Maybe the husband so don't send any certificate to you yet. Because both parties are having some problem. Communication problem. And we have a series of problems lately. The husband and wife do not communicate anymore except through WhatsApp. <laughs> Staying in the same house. Because they say, when I talk, there will be a misunderstanding, quarrel, so no talk. Silent is golden. <laughs> so everything messes. That's very bad. Yeah? Communication is not just to take, it's life. You have to talk. Now, the Prophet wasalam, and the Prophet, after having Siddiq, he had the second unique attitude, akhlaq, amana. Everybody know Muhammad al Amin. Anything you can trust him. It's just like the company. If all of you exercise this value, I think the boss will have a lot of peace. They don't have to worry. He know all of you have amana. They trust you. You are not going to sabotage anybody because you are going to give the best. Because we always ask Allah for what, brother and sister. We always pray. Allahumma khatim lana bil husni al-qatima wa la takhtim alayna bil su'i al-qatima Oh Allah, give us good ending. Don't give us a bad ending. If you want a good ending, brother and sister, from today you learn to give the best. Everything, every day you end with the day with something good, positive. If you train yourself to end whatever you do every day with a good ending, Inshallah. There is a sign that 
when you want to die or want you to leave this company when the time for you to leave, you live in peace. Yeah? You live with good faith, a good ending. So that one day, maybe, you'll be remembered. You leave a legacy. And that is important. What is the third attitude that a prophet has? He has the tabligh. What is tabligh? He has the spirit of sharing and caring. I believe Maxis also have the feeling of sharing and caring. Even we have staff who are not yet Muslim. Uh, they are not with us. Normally we invite the not yet Muslim also to join us. So that they experience iftar with us. Yeah? Remember, we are going to iftar. This is a ceremony of iftar just now. They said, yeah? Iftar. That means there's no dinner. You know why is iftar, sister? Iftar is just breaking fast. But because after iftar, they have dinner here. Alhamdulillah, that's why you can have dinner. <laughs> if not, next time it is it. Majlis, iftar, only breakfast, remember. Tamar, water, kalas. Assalamu alaikum. <laughs> after that, you pray Maghrib, you find your own dinner. <laughs> but Alhamdulillah, I know. The company is so kind. He do not just give you iftar, he prepared dinner, follow up with dinner. Now, have this sharing and caring spirit. You care for each other. Anything good, you share. This is the spirit that Islam wants us to have. And the last one is fatana. What is fatana? Anybody want to share with me? Can you, somebody tell me what is fatana? We try the sisters who are closer to me here. Can some sister help me? Uh, what is fatana in Arabic called fatana? In English, what you say? Smart. Yeah? Smart. Ask it. Smart. Smart. Ah, yeah, you can use that word too. Very close. Now we open to the brother. Brother, what is fatana? The sister said smart. It's very close already. Alhamdulillah, have a smart tech, uh, smartphone. <laughs> We are so smart. <laughs> but then, knowledgeable. Mm -hmm. Brother, we give we open to the brother. Brothers, share with me what is Fatana? Fatana? Wisdom, Allah Akbar. That is the correct answer. Not only smart. There are a lot of smart people without wisdom. Wisdom is very unique. When you have wisdom, the sincerity will come very easy. The integrity also will surface, inshallah. It's not difficult. Islam is here to guide all of us. And we all, as fellow Muslims, have been asking Allah. No one on planet Earth have asked God more than us. Every single day, we perform our prayer as a Muslim, a practicing Muslim, not a traditional Muslim, a practicing Muslim, you will ask Allah minimum 17 times per day. Because you have to make salawat, the five prayers, and you have two, four, four, three, four rakaat, unit of prayer. Every unit, you must recite Surah Al-Fatiha. In Surah Al-Fatiha, Allah is telling us what to ask. The most important thing in our life is what, sisters? What is the most important thing that we always ask Allah? Anybody? What is the, the thing that we ask Allah every day, brothers? Uh, you ask for uh, more salary? Hell, a good husband, a good wife. No one cannot, and then no one can pray without reciting this. If you don't recite this, your prayer is not valid. Young, old, male, female, rich, poor, leader, followers, you always ask one 
thing from Allah. Idina sirat al mustaqim. Oh Allah, guide us all to the straight path. We want to be right. Every day we ask 17 times. And then when you keep on asking, Allah said to us in Surah Al-An'am, وَأَنَّ حَاذَ الصِّرَاطِ مُسْتَقِيمًا فَاتَّبِعُوهُ وَلَا تَتَّبِعُوا سُبُلًا فتفرق بِكُمْ أَنْ سَبِيلِ ذَلِكَ وَصَّاكُمْ بِهِ لَعَلَّكُمْ تَتَّقُونَ you ask me to show you, to guide you. Then Allah said, Now I show you my way. The Quran. Allah is talking to us every day. How do Allah talk to us? Through His book. The Quran is the word of Allah, the speech of Allah, Kalam Allah. He's talking to us every single day. He said, I show you my way. You cannot say, I'm still looking for guidance. The important thing after you ask Allah for guidance is to follow. That's all. We fail to follow. Allah said, Fattabi'uhu, follow my way. Now, I just ask you, brothers and sisters, just please help me to respond. Is there any guideline in Maxis when you work in Maxis? Is there any guideline? Yes. The do and don't? Do they have do or no or everything do? Oh, there's also some don't. Yeah. Now, if everybody follow that guideline, will there be a smooth sailing? Is that easy? Easy. Easy for you, easy for your boss, easy for everybody. If everybody just follow the guidelines. The same go to Islam. You follow what Allah wants to do. And the guideline of Islam is very simple. When you talk about religion, brother and sister, I like to end this statement important. A lot of my friends, when I have dialogue with them, in China, in other countries, they said, we don't need a religion. Religion is here to divide people. I said, nobody can live in this world without a religion. He said, no, 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 you are wrong. I don't have a religion. I said, brother, do you understand the meaning religion? Your religion, Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Christianity, Judaism. I think we have a lot of problem. We are discussing yeah, a word without understanding. I talked to the, my, my atheist brothers, my communist friend in China. He said, we don't have religion. We don't believe in God. I said, nobody can live without religion. No, 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 we don't have religion. I said, do you understand what is religion? Religion means do and don't. Wherever you go, there is a do and don't. China have do and don't. America have do and don't. Malaysia have do and don't. Saudi have do and don't. Every country you go, there is do and don'ts. But the unique one, when we talk about Islam, is a divine do and don't. don't not man-made law. Divine law. That is the difference. One law for everybody. Nobody is above the law. That is divine law. Man-made law, you know. The lawmaker will always be excused. He knows how to play with the law. So what is important, brothers and sisters, once again, we wish you a happy Ramadan, ongoing Ramadan, because Ramadan is not ending. It's just ending the 10 days, the first 10, but we are going to continue 20 more days. So we hope that at the end of the day, we prove to ourselves that we have changed to become a better person. If not, we have failed in this Ramadan because Ramadan must make us become a better person. May Allah strengthen our Iman, accept all our prayer, forgive all our sins, and please don't forget to pray and ask Allah. May Allah protect this beautiful country, Malaysia, so that we live in peace, harmony, and we move on and we learn how to live like one big family. 
family of mankind. Yeah, the Prophet said, Inna abakum wahid. You all came from one father, Adam, and one mother, Eve. Big family. The best among you is not because of your color, because of your race, but are those who are more piety to Allah. Inna akramakum inna Allahi atqaqum. May Allah make us among the muntaqeen. Once again, thanks for Maxis who organized this beautiful iftar. May Allah. Please remember, brothers and sisters, don't forget to say Bismillah when you want to eat because we have been waiting, waiting, waiting. So that Azan on, we forget Bismillah. There are no more barakat. You know. We want to open our fast, break our fast with the right spirit. May Allah accept all our deeds. Wa billahi tawfiqi wa raqin da'wana an alhamdulillah alamin subhanakallahumma bihamdik shadu an la ilaha ila anna astaghfirka wa atubu alayh. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.